So let's see who goes first. <laughs> We're going for maximum silliness here. 19, 29, 35, 50. Beat that. Slowly rush. That was below average. So, 30, 48. Okay, you got me. 55. You got me. <laughs> when you don't even need that last die. Yeah, 52 and a half is the average. Um, six, seven. Think. Okay. Um, I'll pretend that this is not a problem. It is a problem. Okay. So while you're doing that, let me uh, show what I have going on over here. Woo! <laughs> so this is uh, not normally sufficient. And this would be an incentive, except you're here, so I can't really, and you're here, I can't really get greedy. I think. I think. There you go. <laughs> Swear, if you have sideboard tranquility, I am in big trouble. Yeah. Reverent silence, or whatever the deck runs. Whichever one you only need a forest for. Um, I'm going to mold it again. Ooh. Okay. Man. Might have should have kept it. But mm -hmm. I don't think so. Alright, so story time with T1 Listener. I am at a PPTQ, and my, uh, my opponent and I uh, mulligan. And this is after the Vancouver mulligan's been established. Right. And I thought that I made it clear that I was going to shove the, that I was going to mulligan again. And I was looking at the top card to see what it would have been. He did not, I guess he didn't hear me or didn't, wasn't paying attention or something like that. And thought that I was tr like trying to do it out of order. I was saying I was keeping effectively yeah. by looking to see if I was, uh, by scry. Um, that thankfully did not, <laughs> we, we got that result. We're humans, it happens. Um, I'll keep this. Alright. Scry. Fair enough. Got a Sanctity and Life Force. So nothing you care too much about. Okay. And I will start off with a. It's my turn. Oh, that's right, 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 right. You're right. My bad. <coughs> that's right, we did the 5d20. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna start off with the lines I've done. Okay. Then. Do I wanna go for it? I think I do. When in doubt. Crack. Oh. Red. Here we go. Discard. I see a faithless looting. Let's do it. As Shia LaBeouf would say, just do it! Six. All right. Two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Okay. okay. All right. Nothing else. There's the stink weight. Yep. All right. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Do we have another dredger? No, but now I have to discard two. I think you draw. Yeah, no, that's 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 right. And that's right. That's it. Okay. Uh. 
I'll pass to you now. Now, Cabal Therapy, name target player, right? Mm -hmm. Not target opponent. Okay, cool. Just making sure that's how that works. So, yep. you can still sack it, in other words. You yeah. just have to make yourself discard, which often you're doing anyway. Yep. Ah, uh, you dirty dog. You're fine. My card just decided to troll me a little, that's all. We're going to play a Sarah Sanctum, mm -hmm. and then we're going to pass the turn. Okay. Uh, no upkeep. Let's stretch. Okay. One. Right two. Two. Three. I see a four, five. Five. Hey. Six. Narcomate trick. Two Narcomabas. Let's see. So bridge count right now is zero? Zero. Okay. <clears throat> so combat? You might as well. One. You got me. Those power plays. Legacy at its finest. Go ahead. Alright. Fair enough. I'm gonna play a gemstone mine. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it on two. Because we're making two mana and one. Mm -hmm. Serum powder. Okay. Yeah, that this is the world we live in now. Um, I'm gonna put it down here because it's that's kind of where it belongs. And then I will pass the turn. Untap. Let's stretch. Yes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Three Narcomibas, zero bridges. Space is at a premium. Right. Um. I mean, the Air Force comes in, I guess. Mm hmm. Combat. Yep. Yeah. Way down to 17. Alright, so I don't see any of the big payoff cards in your yard yet. No Flamekins, no. Um, undying Devil thing I can't think of. Right. I will pass. Whose name will come to me immediately after this is over, I'm sure. So that's how this works. Don't tell me. <laughs> Horizon Camping. Sure. Um, can make two, four, doesn't actually change the clock any, doing it that way. No, and you take a damage off of Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, a uh, whether I play X or Y in my hand. Opalescence. Mm -hmm. Combat. Sure. Swing eight. Yeah, no blocks. Hey, there we go. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. One tap. Should be a thug at least. Yeah. Alright. Um, Dredge thug. One, uh -huh. two, three, four. And a nail. Okay. It will not count itself. Unfortunately, it it does not itself become a 4-4. Four -four. Unless okay. there's another opalescence out. So I don't have lethal on board. I wish.
flashback shenanigans? Um, I almost want to. I mean, target yourself, get grave troll in the yard is is a legit play. Sacrifice, bridge trigger. Yep. Ball therapy. Target me. Great trouble. And then, since it is reveal, the other two are a stinkweed imp and a thug. Yes. Just to okay, just to verify. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Where's my blanket? Right there. That's is that not me? my blanket. <laughs> oh. Well, it's a blanket. I didn't know. It's blanket. I'm gonna pass. Go ahead. Okay. What? <laughs> He is recording him, Rantha. <laughs> you need to be a little quiet. Why? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, silly. Let's see. I don't want to be quiet. Ooh, that, that sound. Hmm. <laughs> I want to risk it for the biscuit, because I don't get to do this too often. For the biscuit? What? Oh, it's just a silly expression, that's all. I know. <laughs> but we're not. We're going to take the safe line. We're going to play a ley line of the meek. Sure. We're doing this main phase because subtlety Hi. is the plebs. And we're going to swing eight at you. I'm a mermaid. We're actually doing this main phase because I don't want to forget. Ooh. Mm. No, no, no. Um, no box. Alright. Pajama 4. Yep. There we go. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. I do, I will find out whether it would have worked in just a moment as Dredge he six. dredges 6. What are the first two? Uh, it would, yeah, it wouldn't have been great. That, on the other hand, that, Six. two bridges. Yikes. One, two, two bridges. Three, four, six. Yeah, I thought baby would have been down there. Hi. Hi. I'm a mermaid. I like your blanket. <laughs> I'm a mermaid. <laughs> I see. Twilight Sparkle. And it's my blanket. It's my blanket. Um, that's trying, fine. He's trying to focus. He has a really intense play. Okay. Because okay. if he does this correctly, he wins the game. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Rantha. 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 Hey, <laughs> Alright. I don't care. She does not put me I'm going to. She does at 7 o'clock. So do that. One, two, three, four. You'll have four tokens. Since the zombie sadly won't make another zombie. Yeah. That's not enough. So, sacrifice these three. Okay. Four bridge triggers. Mm -hmm. We're going to flashback dread return. Okay. Targeting the yellowish mark. Okay. Alright. <coughs> and I think that's okay. game for me then. Because. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh no, never mind. I have Who's four, second? four, four zombies. And all of your things turned into two twos. They're actually five fives. If you had gotten the flame kinzilla, I'd be dead now. Because this makes creature tokens, not just creature tokens I control. Yeah, that's so why I was. That saying. only gives them 
plus one, one plus, plus one, so they're only three threes. They'd be three threes. Plus one plus one from Flamekin Zealot, they'd be four fours. I'm at thirteen, and the Flamekin Zealot gets haste too. I only have one blocker. Oh, yeah. because of the thingy. Yeah. Yeah, well, either way, I have, you have yeah, I'm three three threes. Not in great shape right here. And I have four four fours. Where well, that you? means I, I really do have to go for it this turn, actually. So, we're going to go for it. Is yep. that's turn? Sure. Okay. Going to draw our card. Alright, you don't do a lot of good right now, buddy. Sadly. Alright, might as well try. We're going to make one, two, three, four mana. Mm -hmm. We're going to play a Helm of Obedience. Okay. And we're going to... A one... Go to... Ahem. <clears throat> go to... <laughs> go to twelve. Yep. Alright, tap Helm, X equals three. So we're going to look at the top three cards of your deck, put them in your grave, which is exactly what the dredge player wants, but yep. if I get a... When I run into a creature, it's mine. So... God, well, I got a Nickerid. Never mind. Okay, that's game. <laughs> that does me a lot of good. A lot of good. Alright. Who won? Yep. Uh, he got it, actually. <laughs> he... He got it. Your daddy. Yo, daddy. I don't care. <laughs> you feel the love? I don't care. All right, so because TJ's daughter went to watching TV for just a little while before she had to go, I don't know, go to bed or get a shower or whatnot, uh, I actually cut the audio for this part because otherwise, at best, it would get copyright claimed. At worst, the video would get blocked. So just... Sorry, you gotta listen to me for a little bit, doing some solo commentary. So cards I cited in were, uh, and we'll get to this later on in the video too, but obviously Rest in Peace is gonna come in. That, that's a given. We start with four mainboard Leyline of the Void, and we add three Rest in Peace. I, I hear that's pretty good. I also have Ghostly Prison in here, which deals with zombie swarms. It deals with the Flamekin Zealot side of the deck. I think, though, that he ends up actually citing out Flamekin Zealot. Um, it's either Flamekin Zealot or Flayer of the Hatebound, which, if I'm him, I want to keep... I, if I had to get rid of one of the two, it, oh, there's the rest in peace, there we go. <laughs> I would get rid of the Flayer because, you know, Leyline of San uh, Sanctity, there you go, is a thing. So, you know, in any case, he's uh, presenting... I'm, I'm liking my hand. I mean, Dredge is a consistent deck once it gets going, but those opening hands, <laughs> they can be tough. And so here he is with the mulligan. Uh, see when he is ready to go. Here we go. Gets his uh, he gets his six and a half. All right. What is that? A wear tear. <laughs> okay. I hear that's a pretty good card against me. <laughs> that's that's what I've heard. All right. But he has a hate card. Even if he doesn't have enough lands, he's probably going to have to keep, and if he hits those lands, then he's good, you know. Actually, if he hits a land, right, because uh, wear or tear only requires white mana, that's it. it, it's a race, so one mana. Cool, there's Leyline of Sanctity. Yeah, I think that's actually the, yeah, that's the only Leyline I have in this. I had to keep a rest in peace hand, and again, Leyline of Sanctity beats Flayer of the Hatebound, so... You know, you're not starting off with nearly as much mana, but because I can go land, land, rest in peace, you know, I, it's worth keeping. And the rest in peace will make the Sarah Sanctum work later on, and so on and so forth. So, usually in this deck you want to start out with a bunch of enchantments, a bunch of ley lines out. However, here, it's fine to have just the one because we had the progression. We could build ourselves up to enough mana eventually. Alright, so... My turn. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to do. Hmm. <laughs> Horizon Canopy. Yeah, let's make some mana. I'll take a point here. Rest in peace. You know. <laughs> Insert graveyard hate here. And now he has a nice little tear target. All he needs is a land. All he needs is a land. Poor TJ. He's playing a deck with, I want to say, 14 lands in it. It's not that many. Technically, Lion's Eye Diamond produces mana, but that really doesn't count for what we're doing here, of course. Uh, so he just, he kept a hand, you know. And it was a mulligan to six, too. It's, 
it's easier to keep a risky mulligan to six in the current environment because you have that scry. Uh, he had a hate card, he had a scry. I don't blame him for keeping. I, I might have done the same thing myself. I imagine that I probably would have actually, but lo and behold, you know, here we are. We're gonna crop rotate. Woo! It had one counter left um, after the tapping. So we're gonna go get Sarah Sanctum because that's what you do. Sarah Sanctum into. Uh, do I have a ghostly prison here? I think that's the next one that I run out. Probably ghostly prison. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's a ghostly prison. I could drop the serum powder here. Uh, you see that in my hand. I could, let's see, I could go serum, powder, rest in peace if I have another rest in peace in hand, which I don't think I do. I, I don't think that's what I'm seeing. Alright, so make two. I am playing the serum. Okay, Jay. Okay, Jay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta, you gotta pay another... Okay, wait a minute. I remember. I remember. Don't worry. I, I figured out later on. Serum powder costs three mana, not two. I, I, I take it back in just a second here. It's gonna take me a second. We are tired. He and I both got off of work not too long before this. We actually work in the same place, so, you know, it's pretty cool. He, he does a lot of walking, I do, I do a lot of lifting, so... And here, here I'm catching it. I'm catching myself. I'm saying, whoa, I messed up. <laughs> Let's run it back. Alright. Alright, so it's one, two, three. Get the serum powder. I And I changed my play. Um, I actually don't know how I feel about that. I know this is kitchen table, this is casual and all that. Um, and he hadn't, he didn't take any actions, and I know I was tired, so honestly this thought might have not cre even crossed my mind, but I, I should have stuck with this serum powder because that's what I did initially. Um, it's just not something that crossed my mind, probably. Okay, so there's the serum powder, and it didn't really make a difference, obviously. It, it kind of did, actually. It left me, I would have just had to pay one more mana down the road, because Sanctum tapped for three there instead, you know. You know. All right, poor, <laughs> poor TJ. Oh no, he drops the narco amoeba. Oh no, that's not where you want to see it. That's that's not how we wanted to enter the graveyard. Okay, so <laughs> we're just gonna make four mana, get another Leyline of Sanctity out because why not? Uh, again, flayer's a thing, but we're so far ahead at this point. I don't know that I'm really worried about that. There's another Narc Amoeba. That's his top deck going straight in. It, it feels like that's how it's supposed to go, but <laughs> not quite. We we have one too many steps in there. All right, audio is back on. There we go. Um, we are going to ponder our life decisions here for just a moment. Yeah. And then pass the turn. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. We're gonna cycle the canopy. Sure. Now we get a wiggly thing. Alright, draw. I'm a little bored thing. Funny how that works. And we're going to pass the turn. Here's a deck that really can get off the ground. Or not. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Not even any diamonds. Okay. The uh, diamond would be kind of counterproductive at this point. Last turn. Yeah, it would. It would keep you from having to discard it, nothing else for one turn. There we go. We have plays. Nah, nature's claim. Go. Pass the turn. Right. Um, 
we are going to one, two, three, four. Two floating. Mm -hmm. We're going to play an intentionally redundant rest in peace. Okay. And then we're going to enlighten tutor. One floating. Going to go get opalescence. Put it on top. Okay. And after that, we'll pass the turn. Hmm. We're going to tear one of the rest in peace. All right, that's why we played the second one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. I'll this. Um. Swing for thirteen. <laughs> That's a thing. Sure. Okay. Roll a seven. Yep. Pass the turn. Hmm. Yep. Next game. Yeah. I'll do it. Rip and pepperoni. I took a hiatus for college, but. I don't think for as long as you did, right? How, how long do you think you were out? I was from... I quit in 2006 and started to get in 2014. Oh, okay. I was 2009 until, yeah, much shorter then, until 2000... I'm actually a little iffy on when it, when I got back in. Um, hi. <laughs> 12, I think. I mean, at some point in 12. It was uh, my dorm over at college, mm -hmm. an easy, easy walking distance from it was a card shop. And while it wasn't the best card shop by any means, it was a card shop. And it was enough to get me back into the game for a little while. Gotcha. This is... No, auto fail. No lands. And no way, no seared powders either. No way to go and get a sanctum. <coughs> Sarah Sanctum, Sarah Sanctum is such a good card that you have essentially 12 copies in your deck when you think of there's four and then four crop rotation and then four serum powders to get you a little clo serum yeah powders to get you a little closer to it. Yeah. All right, are you keeping? Yeah, I think I am. All right, we're gonna give it a go. Six and a half. Don't fail me now. Here we go. Serum powder. Exile all this. Draw six more. Sure. Okay. So, thankfully, this doesn't change the number of cards I mulligan. So, four, five, six. Double count just to make sure. Because they are getting a little sticky. I think I. Yeah, I have to keep this one. Okay. It, it's. <clears throat> but we have to keep. Okay. Sanctity Void. It's fine. Yeah, it's certainly not something you can't play through. Okay. And then, yeah, you're up. Gemstone Mine. Alright. Um. Wanna go ahead and try? I don't think so. Loot. Okay. I mean, yeah, digging for that claim or whatever you have. I don't know how she can go to sleep with the light on right above her. I can't do that. <laughs> She likes to be near us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm, so I hate to. Oh. Oh. Bridge Eckerd. Although that tells me that the quality of the rest of your hand is probably fire. Go ahead.
I think. Mm-hmm. Pastor. Might as well. Go ahead. In your turn, pay the one crop rotation. Sure. Well, this only affects you. Yes. Um, Sanctum, still under turn. Mm -hmm. I'm about to shuffle again in anyway, so. Enlightened Tutor. Mm -hmm. the enchantment count by one. It's not just because, oh look, redundancy, but it also ups the enchantment count by one at a time when my only land counts on it. So, it makes sense on that. Alright. Here we go. Yep. And that'll be my draw. Uh, spoiler alert. Play in it. Yep. And now they're gone. Yep. And then I'll pass the turn. Insert Narcomoeba beat down here. It can be done. Come back. Yes. Boink. Second man. Oh, okay. That's a card. Death don't touch. I don't think they ever ratted that to no, actual they didn't. death touch. No, they didn't. Go ahead. To be honest, though, I'm not sure how it's different, other than that it's not the actual keyword. I know that matters for a few things. Um, we are going to play out a ghostly prison, mm -hmm. and then we're going to pass the turn. So if you want to deal one to me, you have to deal two to yourself. Because that's how life works. Right? <laughs> uh, I'm going to pass. Go ahead. Okay. I'd like to play a serum powder. Sure. And then I will pass the turn. It, normally it's a bad habit to set your hand down because it tells it's often a tell, especially for very observant players, that you don't have anything. You're just kind of letting them take their turn. But in this deck, yeah, I don't have anything. Go ahead. <laughs> it, uh, that's, that's how this one works. Go ahead. <laughs> just gonna do a, a check on the top each turn. Ooh. Poor Coliseum. Thanks. Um, pass. Go ahead. <coughs> Drink your tea, it's fine. Enlightened tutor? Sure. Now, this one actually isn't as easy as it might seem because... Well, no, it, it actually is. We're, we're going to get a Helm of Obedience. And then on my turn, we're going to cast it, activate it. Yeah. So for those that don't know how this works, because uh, this is admittedly one of the more convoluted cards <laughs> in Magic to understand. Yep. Um, and so that's going to be my draw. I'm going to pay four to, act, to play it. Yep. Put, so you pay X mana, and X can't be zero. It has to be greater than zero. So you pay one mana in this case. Put the top card of target opponent's library into their graveyard. Continue doing this until either you put X cards in, 
or you hit a creature, whichever comes first. Uh, that's, that's the wording on that's really important. If the last one put in is a creature, so if you have to stop, you know, at or before X, then you sack it, it's gone, and then you get that creature. Basically, it becomes whatever creature you end up hitting. Mm -hmm. So, and I know you get this, this is for people that, yeah, that, that may not. Oh, yeah. So, but, 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 the cards go into the graveyard, and it doesn't stop until you get X. Now, X in this case is going to be 1. So it doesn't stop until one card hits the graveyard. Well, because of both Leyline of the Void and Rest in Peace, they don't go to the graveyard. They just go straight to exile, so it goes all the way through. Basically, it'll mill a card, and then it checks. Have, has it put a card in the grave? No. And then it'll do it again. All the way through the deck. Yep. And then... And then I pass the turn. You yeah. may notice a problem here, <laughs> yeah, which, which is that I'm stuck with Grixis in hand. Yeah. I need to not blue mana. Admittedly. I, I assume there's some green... Oh. Okay. Yeah, the wear tear is actually really good tech. I, I do appreciate that because it beats a chalice, yeah. and it also beats all these little ley line effects. But we're not like Rest in peace and ley line in the void and whatever they're bringing in against you. Grab yeah. Digger's Cage. It beats everything. While not itself, you know, Nature's Claim is good, but it loses to Chalice. Yeah. Um, although your deck can play through Chalice, especially when it's on the play, though, it's not fun. Um, so yeah, that's a that's Ley Lines. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not a deck that requires a lot of skill to pilot. It just sort of pilots itself. Um, but it, every it's fun. Every now and then, just to pull out, it's fun. So the cards I brought in decided to show up a lot. Uh, Ghostly Prison and Rest in Peace. Three of, one of. Our other order. <laughs> there we go. As for... Let's see, actually none of you. None ya. None ya. That's what it's say in the south, I guess. Or as my mom says, anyway. Let's see. Two more. Where are ya? Where are ya? There's one. And... I missed it. <laughs> I went right over it, apparently. These are sticky sleeves, so I wouldn't doubt that. It's in here somewhere. Well... Huh. Are you in here? Yes, there you are. No, that, that didn't work. And then for cards I took out, three suppression field. I'm actually not remembering anything that this hits in your deck. Like actual, factual, any activated abilities that aren't mana ability. So it wouldn't even hit the Lion's Eye Diamond. You could keep me from regenerating a grip. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose there's that. And then one serum powder, uh, because it's my 12th Sarah Sanctum. And uh, I think we're pretty consistent at that point. And if you need a, this is like how Gitaxian Probe is in Infect a lot of times, back yeah. when that was in Modern. It's the card you take out, because instead of cashing it in for a wild card, you can just make it the card you need. So Ashen Rider seems obviously pretty good enters or leaves, and you get to deal with multiple enchantments that are stopping you. Wear Tear, we went over, that's good. Dread Return is good. Iona is, uh, I think, pretty good. Uh, like, did you take out um, the... Don't tell me. He's right there. I know, I'm trying not to look. Did you take a Flare of the Hate Bound out? I took out Flanken. Okay. Oh, Flanken. Okay. So I was thinking you might have taken out Flare because of this... Uh, Leyline? I figured you would, there was a good chance you would have the Leyline, so I didn't put the flare in just yeah. to get around Ghostly Prison. Um, I was going to get really cute if you played Opalescence and pitch my hand and kill all your enchantments. That That is silly good. It is an instant, so he can do that whenever he feels like it. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it actually is a thing. You can stop the turn one KO. Yeah. Without the turn one Leyline of the Void, there was a good shot that I would have had turn two Iona on white. Yeah. Yeah. I have a 40% chance, but then you factor in the two Rest in Peace as well, and the yeah. Idyllic Tutor, and the uh, Enlightened Tutor, and it's just, eh, it's absurd. But, in a good way. What, what am I saying? No, not in a good way. <laughs> Alright, so that's that.